Welcome into Drew Stilly Diamond for Sunday, October 6, 2024, NFL edition coming your way. Three picks on today's board. Let me know in the comments below what your NFL picks are for today. MLB, welcome as well. Where you agree, where you disagree, all is welcome. It helps out the algorithm. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we are heading to our nation's capital for the first game up. One o'clock Eastern, Cleveland Browns, Washington Commanders. Commanders, minus three-point home favorites, 43 in the hook, being the total. Washington, one of the bigger surprises in the NFL, out the gate, three and one overall. Former Heisman Trophy winner out of LSU, Jalen Daniels, throwing the rock around very well. 82% completion percentage, only one interception so far this season. And you could you could almost kind of see the recipe, you know, uh, Going into this this year, if you follow college football at all in the past, offensive coordinator Cliff Kingsbury calling it, dialing it up. Jalen Daniels back there running around, and so far it's worked. He's got over 200 rushing yards this season as well. And talk about a hot offense. 21 of their last 23 offensive drives have ended with points. You normally don't see that in the NFL. Look at their last two games for Washington, 42 and 38 in terms of team totals. That's their offensive production, averaging 40 points over the last two games. So uh, pump the brakes if you're looking to bet the commanders under the total. They're going up against the Browns here. Cleveland so far this season, one stat I saw, uh, wide receivers lead the NFL so far in terms of drops. Not that that, you know, is necessarily a bet on, but it does show you, you know, in terms of hitting big plays, they're getting close. It's just they got to catch the ball, you know, if it hits your hands. So I think Cleveland should be able to rebound at some point over that. Plus the Browns 9-0 and to the over last year in nine road games. We get a 43 and a hook, guys. I think we get to the mid-40s and beyond, likely into the 50s. So we're going Browns commanders up and over the total to kick us off on Sunday. We got next one up, also 1 o'clock Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Miami Dolphins, New England Patriots, AFC East battle here, 36 being the total. Pick them price tag. There is some minus ones out there, but pretty much the consensus number. Pick the winner in this one. We get Miami coming in 5-1 and one straight up, 6-0 and oh against the spread against New England the last three years. So they've kind of had their number. The problem here is Tua is out as the quarterback, as the Dolphins. And sure enough, the last two games for the Finns, 389 yards and 15 points. No, not in one game, in two games. So it has been really rough for the Miami offense the last two weeks without, without Tua back there. I will say, you know, Huntley running around, I think there is possibility, you know, to grind out first downs um, and, you know, play good defense for the Dolphins, kind of squeak by. But, I mean, offensively speaking, it, it, it's it's rough sledding for the Dolphins right now. Now, their defense has played solid. 282 yards per game allowed, 160 pass yards per game allowed. So I think the defense is going to keep them in this game, particularly because New England's offense isn't all that great. I mean, um, you know, with, with what Jacoby Brissett back there at the quarterback position, he's more of a conservative-minded quarterback, you know. People are talking about, is Drake May going to get a shot? If he ever does, I would look to kind of start to bet New England towards the over. But sometimes, you know, the dynamics of quarterbacks in the NFL, it's not necessarily one is better for the team or worse, but one can take more chances than the other, therefore be kind of the over quarterback and the other one an under quarterback. And sure enough, I'm using that as part of the handicap here, guys, in betting the under with the Dolphins and Patriots because their head coach, Jared Mayo, said Jacoby is 100% our starter, and that's how we are going to look at it moving forward. Therefore, I don't think we get the change at the quarterback position after a quote like that. So with Jacoby Brissett back there, I'm looking to bet the under. And last thing here from the gold sheet, guys, $5 this week, by the way, at wagertalk.com. Gold sheet throwing out some great nuggets. Here's one for you. NFL totals 37 or lower, 32 and 11. That's 74% to the under, 32 and 11 to the under, 74% since 2020. So a pretty good sample size there, you know, going back to 2020, 74%. Hey, we're going to ride that, guys. Under 36, Miami Dolphins, New England Patriots. So two afternoon kicks up here, early afternoon anyway, on the East Coast. We got one more. In the later afternoon, 4 o'clock Eastern, 1 o'clock Pacific. But reminder, if you could comment below, anything is welcome, guys. I'll be in there chiming in as well with you. Uh, your NFL picks, 
MLB picks, all are welcome. Premium picks up and available. Wagertalk.com, 4 percenter, 2 for 1 up. So you can get that special. Wagertalk.com. Also, huge savings with uh, the weekly package. Uh, you get college basketball, college football, NFL, all, all going in the next couple months. So a great time to jump on board for a longer term package drew martin hot going into the weekend guys so hopefully keep it going here last game up four o'clock eastern 105 eastern or 105 pacific start excuse me las vegas raiders denver broncos broncos minus three point home favorites 36 being the total the raiders come in winning nine of the last 10 straight up and against the spread in this series so las vegas has absolutely dominated denver now, from year to year, things change, obviously, in the NFL. The offense for the Raiders have looked good. So, they, they played, uh, you know, you know, moving the ball up and down uh, last week against Cleveland, which Cleveland has played some good defense this season. Uh, I know we just talked about them in the first game up, but still going up against the Commanders. I still like the Commanders score a bunch of points. But give give uh, the Raiders credit for that. Uh, I just I dissect here. Back to back to. Uh, the Denver side of things. They did win last week against the Jets, but it was it was really a misleading game. Um, you know, I was breaking that game down going into last week. I'm like, man, I really like the under. I left it off the card, and sure enough, uh, dead nuts under. They won the game, but they only had 186 total yards offensively. They only scored 10 points in the game and still win. That doesn't happen very often. Their quarterback, Bo Nix, one of four in terms of one touchdown, four interceptions so far this year. He's a guy, you know, he played at Auburn, played at Oregon. Now he's a rookie in the NFL. He's a good athlete back there. I think he'll hang around. But to tell you the truth, guys, the, he kind of struggles throwing the deep ball a little bit. And with the touch on the passes, he's not a guy I'm looking to really bet on right now in terms of right now in his career. So I'm looking to kind of fade Bo Nix, actually. Run game just over 100 yards a game in terms of average so far for the Broncos. I think they're going to have a tough time moving it here. And I think Las Vegas catching three here, plus three with the dog. That's the way we're going with this one in the late afternoon kick. Hey, they've won nine of the last 10. They make it 10 of the last 11, both straight up and ATS. I think they win outright. If you want to sprinkle some on the money line, I'm not going to talk you off of it. But plus three, Las Vegas Raiders for our best bet for the show. In recap, Miami Dolphins, New England Patriots under 36. We got the Cleveland Browns, Washington Commanders up and over 43 and a half. Guys, I'm Drew Martin checking out for the Sunday show. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll be back on Monday morning. Come back and join us for Drew's Daily Diamonds, MLB Monday Night Football coming your way. Smash that like button, comment below. Thanks for tuning in.